Welcome back to the AI, the summoning files. My name's Jake. And let's continue. Oh yeah, we we took Ice home and talked with her mother and before that we checked the crime scene. Something bad will probably happen to her mother at some point because of dream and stuff that was Welcome back. implied. So yeah. I brought her here after her examination was over. Asuki. Dots. Understandable dots this time. She's probably sad. Has she said anything? No, still can't talk. Was it okay for you to bring her here? I got permission from the hospital. Apparently, the hospital director has been poking a few of the nurses. Oh. So I asked him about that, and all of a sudden he seemed very open to the idea. That's not permission, it's blackmail. Eh, same thing. You know what you need to do now, right? Dots. Sync with her. So basically, see what's going on in her mind. Interesting. This kind of furniture is often used for pile drivers in professional wrestling. Now, where on earth did you learn that? <laughs> Date, look, it's the girl from that horror movie, coming out of the well. What the hell are you talking about? Not yet. Synchro. Anything else in here? Searching. Classic. Alternative. Progressive. That's rock. Uh, not too much stuff in here. Oh yeah, the <laughs> machine itself. Mizuki is lying in the sink machine on the other side of the glass. I'll try talking to her. She can't hear me from here. Boss is watching Mizuki through the glass. Uh, any progress on the investigation? You're asking me that now? I'm asking you to sync with Mizuki because we have no progress. Maybe Mizuki saw something at the scene. Maybe she went inside that merry-go-round to hide. But she isn't answering any questions. The only way to find out is to dive into her subconscious mind. Don't you agree? Pretty radical to do the call right away, but I guess it's the only way. There was a tip or a file about it condition she might have. I don't think they said it specifically at any point, but basically that she doesn't want to talk or something like that. 
Renju Okiura is Mizuki's legal guardian. Did you get permission from him? I couldn't get in touch with him. What? I thought he was being questioned by a local unit. His questioning ended around noon. He hasn't been heard from since. Why would he... Just a sec. I don't know. Uh, what is that saying? So your ex-wife dies. You get questioned. Your daughter won't talk, and you just go somewhere. Mm -mm. Not father of the year material. Are you sure you want to do this? If we don't do it now, then when? This is exactly the kind of situation Abyss was founded for. Besides, if you dive into Mizuki's subconscious, you may be able to help her. Her aphonia is psychogenic. Yeah, aphonia. Physically, she's fine. Her injuries are mental. Which is understandable after seeing her mother like that. You may be able to heal her, Date. You just have to sync with her. You're the only one who can. Well, Peter. That's Peter. His real name is Amanoma, but he goes by Peter here. 36 years old. He's a member of Abyss like me. He's a genius engineer that designate, designed the sync system and other machines. He also invented I, but he's her caretaker in a way. Uh, how's Misuki doing? Her vitals are stable. Her EEG is also stable. I think we can proceed. About Aiba. Hey, Peter. About Aiba. Could you do something about her personality? Do something about it? It wouldn't kill her to be more modest. Maybe a little more ladylike? If you dare reprogram me, I will self-destruct in your eye socket. Can you do that? Huh. <laughs> so you were listening, huh? You sure this is okay? She's only 12. You sure this is okay? <laughs> the machine is safe. I can guarantee that. You have nothing to worry about. Yeah, I trust your clothes, dude. <laughs> are you ready? We are ready to begin. Date, go to the sink room. Got it. Let's go. Agent Date. Mizuki is reacting. Her heart rate is rising and her brain waves are showing signs of disturbance. She may be getting nervous about the procedure. Date, try to calm her down. How do I do that? It's true that she can't speak to you, but she can hear you. Try talking with her. Hmm. Can I like... Is it possible to screw up here? I won't... I won't load any saves and redo if I get something bad or anything. I'll just... If there is something that diverges to, to different routes or paths or anything like that, I'll just go with I... Go with things I do and... Later get... Out her stuff done if it's needed. Sure thing, boss. Uh, this doesn't seem like anything that will affect stuff. Soup Peter. Peter is watching me through the glass. I should say something. Agent Dante, please. Mizuki needs you. <laughs> like <laughs> just doing everything else that <laughs> that I should do. The boss is watching us through the class. I should say something. Why are you talking to me right now? Because I want to get all of the dialogue. Psink machine. Psink. 
Sixer. Yeah, yeah. Mizuki is lying on the chair. Uh, maybe I should talk about the machines and stuff first. I know it looks scary, but trust me, there's nothing to be afraid of. There's no pain, no side effects. When this is all over, you'll go back to your regular life like this never happened. Sink. Sinking is what we call diving into someone's subconscious mind. You sink deep down into their psyches, and you synchronize with their true selves. People like me are called sinkers. Sinkers enter the subject's subconscious, which is a dreamlike state we call somnia. It's Latin for dream. There are six sinkers at Abyss. I'm one of them. Okay, six others. Uh, five others. Uh, about Abyss. Mizuki, I've never told you this, but I'm not an ordinary policeman. I belong to a special investigation unit called Abyss. Advanced Brain Investigation Squad. We explore the human mind with state-of-the-art technology and research. Oh, I... There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. Uh, what should I do? We explore the human mind a billion... Okay, so there wasn't a voice line for... That is our purpose. There are a billion kinds of suspects and persons of interest out there. People that lie, people that don't say anything, people that have head injuries, or some that have deep mental wounds that keep them from talking. So, how do we get clues from these people? We have to get inside their heads. The truth is in their minds. Our job is to find it. So here's what's going to happen. I'm gonna be inside your head. I'll be looking for clues about the culprit. Not only that, we will also attempt to discover the cause of Mizuki's muteness and rectify it. With her aphonia cured, we can ask her further questions directly. Yeah, that might be better than... Because... What we will see in her mind will probably be... Influenced by emotions and stuff, she might like her brain might have interpreted the stuff differently than what actually happened. So I won't. I don't know what we will see there, but if it's something weird, it might not be the truth. So it might be better to ask questions directly after and then make a make a cohesive story about everything we can hear from her when this is all over. Hey Mizuki, when this is all over, what should I say? Uh, wait, what? Watch this. Ah. So this might be a choice. Ah. I remember seeing that word unagi in the files. I'll just check quickly. Ah. Like tsunami. I don't know what it is, but let's go get it. I remember you saying how you liked watching the eels get prepared for cooking. Eels? How they pin the head to the board and the shaft is wriggling around. Okay, this... Date. Yeah. <laughs> that time I honestly didn't mean it sound dirty. Oops. I should watch my monitor. Date, the heart rate is steadying. EEG is stable. Date, get into position. Let's begin. 
Like, <laughs> that was pretty stupid because. Maybe I should have. Uh, maybe. Maybe oh, other. Special agent. I forgot to mention one thing. Maybe the other choices would have been something as stupid as well. I added a new feature to the Seek system. New feature? You'll learn more when you see it. It's very useful. Sure, got it. Date, you ready? Okay, ready any time. Remember, Date, you have only six minutes in the Somnium world. Any longer, and your consciousness will be absorbed by the subjects. Yeah, I know. I'll find a lead and get out in under six minutes. Okay, so we will have the time. We're counting on you. Guess the first one was tutorial well, plus. Let's begin. Plus something special because we didn't use this machine for. It. I think this animation played then as well. What was that? Nothing. I was merely trying to enter the scene like a cybernetic assassin from the future. Well, if you're trying to do that, you'd have to do it naked. Is this Bloom Park? Lightning in a birdcage. Was it raining? Yeah, it was. Not sure about any thunderstorms or anything. There's the horses around the thing upside down. And of course not no barrier thing because she didn't really see it, I think. Not sure what the bird cage symbolizes. Guess that she was trapped in the end, but maybe something more. Maybe this is representative of Mizuki's state of mind. The fact that Shoko was killed here must weigh heavily on Mizuki's heart. Yeah. Mizuki should be inside that column. To get the information we need, we will have to deal with the lightning and the cage and get to Mizuki. I'll make a save here. If... If I get game over or something. But if the story just continues, even if I would fail, then we'll continue. Move fast, or time is going to run out. Unnecessary. Look around. Look around? This is the new feature of sync that Pewter mentioned. You can stop time? Only when standing still. Time is moving incredibly slowly. Currently, you and I are transmitting information at high speed, so it only appears as though time has stopped. Are you familiar with the concept of time dilation? Nope. It has to do with relativity, right? Uh, maybe. Two people can experience time differently depending on space-time. This is similar to that. The flow of time in Somnium is different than the real world. This could be useful. You can only stay in Somnium for six minutes, right? But with this, you could take your time and explore. Let's get started. Somnium scan! Activate! The looks number two. Oh, the barrier was there. Number three, there's Mizuki. Um, uh, sinking in the pain. Heal Mizuki's heart. Mizuki is mute. By healing her mental wounds, you may be able to get important info. To reach Mizuki, something must be done about the lightning that keeps striking the birdcage. Lightning's supposed to strike at the highest point. 
Oh god, the horses are moving. An ice pick piercing Shoko's photograph. So, because this is here, it would make sense that the pick was in the eye. Like Iris said, that all said, <laughs> possibly. Iba, speaker over there, shaking. Hmm. I see. It must be connected to the ice pick. What do we do here? Healing Mizuki should be your top priority. I know. Time limit. There is a six minute time li limit in Somnia. Time is expended whenever Aiba is moving or performing an action. Time limit. Pay attention to the remaining time left in the upper right of the screen. Unlock all mental locks within the 360 second time limit. Oh god, the pressure. <laughs> okay, so... Time is not... Oh, it is moving, but super, super slow. Like, I don't think that even matters. Okay, so let's just... Look around a bit. Let's look at the photo first. An ice pick stabbed into Shoko's photograph. Pull out, push in. Uh, what's that in the upper right? Let's not do anything yet. Check the speaker first. Yeah, so that. Check around a bit. So you can see all the things you can investigate. They have name tags about them. So I won't be trying to go every bench and see if there's something there. A speaker. Pull out, push in. Yeah, let's see everything else first. An enormous bird cage. Slip through lift. Yeah. The panda is in awful shape. Put back together, kick away. God. <laughs> I don't want to make any choices. So maybe we could pull the ice pick out because that's what she probably did hopefully that won't trigger some awful memories or something let's check the gate as well so so like now we have only used 14 seconds the entrance gate tackle open um, yeah, let's let's Shoko's photograph has an ice pick stabbed through it. Like it feels bad to use so many seconds for the action that I want to do. And do I have to do it twice because there's one slash two there? Right. No one would want to see their mother like this. It keeps going. What is this? Something happened over there. Okay. So, uh, number one unlocked, redirected the lightning with the lightning rod. So it seems like the 
path will split now, depending on what we do to the second lock. The pillar became a lightning rod. It looks like we can get to the birdcage now. Our next step must be to remove it. Date, we got a timey. <laughs> timey. A timey? Time induction matter in encephalon. What does encephalon mean? You can think of it as an item that affects the flow of time. Using this, you can slow down or speed up time insomnia. Is this another function pewter added? Correct. Sounds like a dream. <laughs> yeah. Well, it is a dream. And because it is a dream, extraordinary things such as this are possible. Got it. Guess I'll try to use them where I can. Timeys are items that affect time. You will sometimes obtain them, ob bleh, obtain them when you perform an action. Timeys only affect the time taken to perform an action. You are only able to hold three timeys. Picking up a timey when you already hold three will replace one. Timeys are expended after one use, but use them as often as you can. Okay, so remove the bird gauge or blow the bird gauge away. Okay. This appears to be the microphone for the speaker. Driven. Shout. Like what do, what do those mean? Those fraction thingies. Who do we threaten if we do? The control room of the merry-go-round lifted out of the ground. Knock. Open. Let's try opening. What is your plan once I am inside? It is a control room. Maybe we can do something in there. I do not think it will be that easy. Just try it. Oh, fuck. Didn't expect to see this inside. I do not see an exit either. But there's something suspicious here. I see two bird cages. Looks like there's something inside them. Take a look. Bird cage. There are ripped pieces of paper inside. Peek inside, lift tackle. So. Oh, I see. You can. Let's check the. A bird cage with blown up rubbers inside. There is also a deflated rubber on the floor. Could you please not call it a rubber? <laughs> you can say balloon. I do not understand. It is clearly rubber. Well, you're technically correct. Best kind of correct. Please. Mm, so, okay. Uh, let's take the pieces. A bird cage. There are ripped pieces. Use this one, and then we lift and only spend eleven, eleven seconds. All right, leave it to me. It is heavier than it looks. 
sure. Unlocked, removed gauge. <sighs> Nothing happened. All I did was move the cage. Oh fuck, did it crash? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I'll play up to till this, up until this point and we'll continue next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.